Selling a home in a seller's market is much easier than doing it in a buyer's market. But there are still mistakes you can make that will cost you time and money. Today, we're reviewing eight mistakes you should avoid when selling a home. I'm Shannon with the Shannon Jones team at Keller Williams Realty in Long Beach, California, and this is the latest episode of Selling with Shannon. So the number one mistake that people make is overpricing the home. You definitely want a strategic price to help leverage buyer interest and lack of inventory. Number two is limiting access to the home. That can be either with a really limited window of time or requiring a lot of advance notice or making it more difficult to schedule an appointment uh, to view the home. Number three is not prepping the home. So there are some basic things that you want to do before putting your home on the market, even if you're selling it as is. Um, we have a whole home seller's guide that we put together and uh, we'll make sure to include a link or you can contact us to get that, but that'll give you a lot of great information. Number four is focusing only on price when you're reviewing offers. There are a number of other terms that can be important to consider. Timing, buyer's qualifications, how flexible they are with perhaps letting you stay after escrow closes, um, what they are asking for in their offer, what their contingencies are. So all of those things are important to consider along with the price. Number five is pouncing on an impossible offer. Let's say you get a lot of offers and they're clustered and one is just ridiculously high. That can sometimes happen when there's a buyer who's gotten beat out a lot of times and they just make that impossible offer and then they get cold feet and now you're left without that. There are some ways to um, kind of determine if that may be happening. So make sure you talk to your agent so you can avoid that. Number six is selling for sale by owner or FISBO. Can seem like you'd be saving money, but actually you know what you're saving. You may not know what you're losing. So be sure to uh, look into all of the things that you'll need to do and know and take care of as a for sale by owner. Number seven is not having a next move lined up. Homes are selling quickly and you want to know what your plan is after you close escrow. Will you need to stay in the home for a while after you close? Then be sure to negotiate that up front instead of suddenly finding you don't have a next step. And number eight is assuming our current market will last forever. Definitely the inventory is low right now and the cards are stacked in your favor. How long will that be the case? We don't know. So this is a great time to get started with, your, with selling your home. I'm going to make sure again that we include a link um, to our home seller's guide and if you have any questions about the selling process or what the value of your home would be in this market, reach out, let us know. You can give us a call at 562-896-2456. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to check out the other videos in this series. We've also got some other series that you can check out and we've got those on Instagram as well as Facebook and YouTube. Thanks for watching. Take care.